What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. This is Sonora Design and today is going to be the best day ever because we are finally making the Lovey's speaker. guys so today we are gonna make the lovey's speakers those ones here on the back uh, on video number one we set up our goals we decided what we're gonna build to make wives happy and at the same time be happy ourselves small enclosure that plays big and looks good we took curves we got everything done and in this video today I'm gonna show how to make those remember all the information for this build is gonna be posted on the link down below so don't worry for now just watch the video and if you haven't done so like the video and subscribe to the channel let's grow this thing and make more videos available to you so guys i'm not taking any more of your time let's build those and be happy and love it forever bye <music> So we got the pieces all cut. I cut those grooves here. That's where we're gonna attach our MDF. Because if we have some hardwood, some extra hardwood, we're gonna use the router and make it flush so we can apply the veneer and be all flat. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I marked here A with A, B with B. Why is that? Because I want the grain to match here. I could have done the whole perimeter, the whole box matching, but guess what? Then we need a big slab of walnut. I mean, I'm trying to save the world here. So I'm using leftovers, okay, small pieces. I managed to have at least the front and the top matching because that's the most visible area. And we're gonna try and make a squared box here. So we have an idea just to see if our uh, MDF piece is perfect. If the MDF piece is not cut perfectly or a little smaller, yeah, then our box is not going to close and glue perfectly. And that's the problem, Houston. And guess what? It closes. It closes up. So that's enough. Because the thing is, having the box ready, I can visualize better where I'm going to locate like the, the drivers, how long the port should be inside of the box. So that's what we're going to do now. And keep moving because it's looking good. <music>
guys, so guess what? Today is next day and we're gonna remove the clamps and clean it up and move on because there's a lot of details that you're gonna have to go through. Let me finish that real quick. All right, remove our gluing apparatus and the tape that we're gonna have to sand because it glue all over. We have a little gap here. Mm, that sucks. It probably moved a little bit when we were gluing it. So we'll have to fix that in case we ruin it like I did here. I couldn't see it right because of the tape. We'll have to fill it up with our resin. Now we have to figure out our volume and our closed box for our full range driver here. I think next is the internals. So let's clean up the shop and get ready for next step. You guys wait a little bit, I'll be back. take the clamps off. We have the first box and there's a spider inside. I think we got it right. Parts to the back. We can cut the drivers here. Guys, I just thought this is uh, MDF. Okay. There's no problem being MDF. The problem is when we attach the driver and we screw it in. Usually if we remove the screws and put it back, I mean it's gonna wear off and then we have a problem. I thought about uh, using plywood. So we cut a piece of plywood here. Another option would be to add a walnut, a walnut circle here and attach the subwoofer to the walnut piece. I don't wanna see this part of the subwoofer. So we might have to cut a little like a little ring to cover this part. I'm gonna cut the sides, route the speakers, I'm gonna round the corners and we're gonna move on. I was working on the legs yesterday on CAD, on Rhino, 3D modeling, because it's better to have an idea of how is it gonna look at the end. And I think I know what I want already to look good. So your wife is gonna love it and you can have speakers at home. Let's get this thing ready. I wanna listen to it.
All right, guys. So, quick talk. So, at the end, I decided to go with the MDF sheet here on the side, and we're gonna figure a way to attach the woofers uh, to the MDF with uh, maybe like another piece of wood on the back. I'm gonna route the MDF so we can uh, recess our subwoofer here. And remember, I still wanna make a, a ring, like a, a walnut ring around the, the subwoofer frame. We're gonna think about that later, but the idea now is to get this thing done and we'll start working on the outside, okay? Let's get this thing ready because the box are looking good. Just gonna make sure they're gonna work. If they don't work, it's gonna be really frustrating. Okay, move on.
right guys, so let me start from the beginning. First thing, we glue it 45 degrees angles and then we route the corners, okay, with a one inch radius. The thing is, guys, I gotta tell you something. Look what happened here. Uh, the router hit here. I think I was kind of like a little stressed. Ah. Ah, yeah, yeah. All right. So those are the problems we'll have to fix. It's no big deal. There's this little gap here. We're gonna fill it up. That's what we have. Star Bond kit. I'm gonna post a link on the description below. Uh, we attach the interior parts, the ports. Another thing, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I was like patching the speaker on the inside with this mix of uh, wood dust, walnut dust, and glue. So let's move on, guys, because we have it all set up. We did a recessed woofer front baffle here. At the end, I decided to use MDF. Why? Because it's flush already. MDF, it's like the right uh, thickness we need. But guess what? I added a piece of wood on the back. And guess what? The tread's gonna be perfect forever. That's it. Another thing, remember, I wanted to hide the subwoofer. So we cut a walnut ring. And we're gonna attach here once we have our veneer. I think it's about time to just seal it with our, our acoustic material. And let's keep moving on because, guys, we still have a little to do. It's looking really good. I love the lobbies already. Hmm. So, we have the boxes pretty much ready. We have the side panels with the foam and inside ring where we're gonna attach the screws here for the subwoofer. So, we have the plywood here, I chamfered it. So, we have uh, like a smoother edge. The sides are gonna be all covered in one veneer. So, that's gonna be our speaker. And maybe we are gonna add a two-eater here, a ambient two-eater. We're gonna listen and find out later. On the inside, we have a spot here for the two-eater. And we have a spot here for our connectors. And we have this part opened up for maybe a crossover or something. That's our closed box. We're gonna have polyfill in here. I think we can glue it now. Let's move on guys and let's glue our boxes, patch it and it's looking good. I'm starting to get more excited because we're close to the end. Enjoy the process, my friends.
right guys so we are gonna remove the clamps uh, and we have some stuff to do quick clamp removing something guys we're gonna take the tape off because we're gonna route the corners I hope it's all nice and uh, flat because you know this is MDF and MDF I mean if you apply a lot of pressure a lot of tension it will it will smash it we're gonna use the router to adjust our corners and get this thing straight and ready for veneer Okay, what is it? And someone's calling. What's that? Okay. Just a minute. I'm back we have it all kind of ready we apply bondo here just just in case ports are all right we cut the ports yeah we send it down with 150 for now so just 150 at the end we're gonna send it to maybe 320 or 400 before applying the finish we are getting ready for the veneer but there's something before that I have to tell you guys and when I was routing the corners I didn't put the fans to run the speaker so I bumped the speaker on a bit and I one thing we could have done routing over even more with a one and a half radius bit we used one inch radius bit which I think is enough I don't want to go over that okay first because it's gonna be too rounded and second because the the corner here we, we will remove a lot of material that's it let's fix that but first let me explain what am I gonna do I'm gonna cut this like straight send it straight glue a piece of hardwood like try to match the grain and then we're gonna refinish we might be able to see a little detail on the corner or not if it's pretty bad then it's pretty bad <laughs> let's move on guys because this is gonna be intense bye
guys, so guess what? We have the boxes ready for veneer. So we finish fixing the corner and the little gaps we have on the corners. That happened because I wasn't paying that much attention most probably when I was taping the corners, okay? So they might have opened a little bit. Uh, guess what? They're glued and they're sealed because we sealed on the inside as well. So it's all right. I just want to show you guys how did we finish our accident. It's a different piece of wood. Actually, I flipped it so the grain is kind of on the other way, but it worked. We're going to apply the finish and this might disappear or not, but guess what? It doesn't bother me. Now is the time we're going to apply the veneer. And as soon as a lot of things are going wrong in this build, uh, I'm just going to glue it. And if it goes wrong, we're going to fix it later. It's always best to do it like slowly, peacefully, quietly and get it all right at first. But when you have other things to do and you're busy, this is what happens again. You just start watching this channel, subscribe to the channel, like the videos and make this thing grow so I can just focus on speaker building and not on other things. I don't know. I think I'm always going to have other things happening. Let's move on because it's all working pretty good. Uh, veneer now. Stay with me guys. I guess it's glued, okay? Now is the time that we cross our fingers. There's glue coming off eventually and I use a damp cloth to remove the glue. Remember, this is hardwood. We can sand it down. So let's wait for it to dry a little bit, guys, and see you guys soon. Bye. Uh, let's remove the clamps real quick and see what's going on in here. Ah. So I have this piece and I have one speaker. Wow. And I have another speaker. Wow. And I have the other. Ow. Ow. Okay. This is a straight. Okay. Ow. Oh God, I think I hurt my arm. Can you believe it? Yeah, that's what happens when you get old. Just like we move the clamps and get hurt. <laughs> Impressive. Okay, we're gonna start from the other part. And I got everything ready, so we route the, the speakers to get rid of the access.
right, guys. So, speakers are ready. I mean, kind of ready. Now we are gonna put the drivers in and test it. Tweeters on the back, maybe. So we are gonna test the tweeters. I think we're gonna need the tweeters on the back. But for now, let's just put our drivers, bring the wires out. We gotta get the FRD and ZMA files and figure out the crossover. Let's move on. I'm gonna stop talking because I'm gonna listen to music too. So. Mm. Sorry guys, let's move on. So we are done with video number two and on video number two we made the lobbies. Uh, those speakers are impressive. I was really amazed with the sound. I wasn't expecting that much. At the end of the day we have speakers that play from around 27, 28, 30 hertz all the way to 20 kilohertz with majesty super creamy it sounds acrylic with a very spacious sound stage so i suggest you try this build at home we spent at around 200 dollars on drivers and components i'm gonna post the crossover schematics on the screen right now so you can copy it Remember, the tweeter on the back has a reversed polarity. So if you want to get all the information for this build other than the making, go back to video number one. All the information is going to be posted on the link down below. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this build. I liked it very much and I suggest you guys try it. Okay, it's a compact small speaker that plays pretty well. I guess that's all I have to say about that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope to see you guys soon. Bye.